Hey everyone, my name is Andrew Horton and today I'm going to show you how to install an ARC survival server on CentOS 7. Now before we can get started in this tutorial, there's a couple things you're going to need. So if you need some time to pause the video, go ahead. You will need SSH root access to your server, not just normal SSH, so make sure it's root access. If you need help, it can definitely help you. Now we're going to be using a program called Putty. It comes uh, downloadable for Windows. On Mac and OS X, or Apple, you will be using console. Okay, I'm going to show you how to install Arc onto CentOS 7. Now, keep in mind you will need at least 8 gigabytes of RAM and your mileage will vary. I'm going to follow the tutorial on the article step by step. Some results will be different, but at the end, everything should work fine. If you have any questions, leave a comment and uh, I'll give you help. So the first command I'm going to run is yum update. It takes a couple of minutes and we'll come back when it's done. Okay, now the yum update has been completed. Let's add a user and set a password. I'm going to use a very insecure password. I'd recommend you do not do the same. Just for demonstration purposes. So the next command would be we have to open some ports on IP tables, but since I don't have IP tables configured on here, it is not a necessity. So let's move on to step four, we install some required libraries. All right, and then step five requires us to update the system settings to allow us to open up more than 10,000 files, sorry, 100,000 files at once. So we'll run a couple commands for that. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to step number six. We need to update the security limits. Sometimes copying and pasting from WordPress will render the wrong type of quotation marks. So I'm just gonna replace them on mine. Your tutorial will be uh, different. It's always recommended you put things in plain text before you get started. Uh, so now we need to go into the arc server user to download and extract Steam, but before we can do that, we need to download a couple pieces of software, which are Nano, WGET, and Screen, before we can do that. Okay, that's been completed. Let's log in to the user. Alright, and now let's download Steam. Let's extract the installer. And now let's launch Steam and actually download the game. This process will take a little bit, so be patient. And we'll come back when it's done. Okay, now the download process has been completed, we need to now create a start script for ARC. So to do that, we need to use a little program called VI. You can use Nano if you're familiar with that and more comfortable, it does the same thing. So what we'll do is I'm going to open up VI for home slash ARC server slash ARC server update. Push I for insert and I'm going to insert the following text. Push escape, and then hit colon WQ for write and quit. The next step, we need to create an update script for Steam. Which is done. And now we need to create a start script. Same process, open VI, I for insert.
And then uh, escape, quit and write. Okay, that file's done. And we need to now chmod the file to work with SSH. And then to run the server, you simply type in sh home arc server arc arc server .sh. If you have any questions or any difficulties running the tutorial, feel free to reach out to our support team. Be sure to leave a comment if you have any questions, and I'll do my best to help. Thanks for watching. Exclusive to this video, receive 75% off the first month of our new cloud services by using the link in the video description below. Hey, thanks so much for taking the time to watch this video. There's a full written tutorial in the video description below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe and follow us on social media and stay tuned for more great videos just like this.